Anyway, here with reaction, former U.N. ambassador, 2024 Republican presidential candidate Nikki Haley. Maybe maybe I'm old fashioned and and maybe this is not particularly popular. Uh, the fact that we spend billions of dollars a year on the United Nations and I, and I know you're the ambassador um, for an organization that has a history of virulent anti-Semitism and anti-Americanism. I'm not sure why we, we fund that organization. Can you help me out? Well, first of all, you mentioned members of the squad and you mentioned Whitmer and they would get along just fine at the United Nations as anti-Israeli as they are. But what I'll tell you is, yes, the U.N. is a farce. We saw the secretary general come out and say that we should do a ceasefire. And I would say at the Security Council when I was there is, would any of you do a ceasefire if this happened to you? But they expect Israel to act by a certain set of rules. I think Israel needs to eliminate Hamas without question. We think that we should go and tell every government that's within that territory, Lebanon, Syria, that they need to stay out of this. We need to make sure no taxpayer dollars go to any Palestinian entities or any U.N. entities that support Hamas. We need to make sure that we are focused on giving all the intelligence, ammunition and equipment we need. Um, Israel needs to be able to finish this and we need to freeze Iranian assets, the six billion dollars. But we also need to go back and put strong sanctions like we had before. China is importing more Iranian oil than anyone else. Russia is getting drones and missiles from Iran. These three, Russia, China, and Iran, know exactly what they're doing. America and the West needs to wake up because we are too distracted and we can't be so arrogant to think that this can't happen on our soil. We have to have the backs of our friends. We have to understand it's not that Israel needs America. America needs Israel because they are the first line of defense for Islamic terrorism. And we have to start taking this seriously. And all of this, we've seen chaos from the Democrats, from inflation and what they've done to crime on our streets, to an open border, to lack of transparency in education, to, you know, chaos around the world. But what we have to remember as Republicans is the one thing you don't do is we can't chase Democrat chaos with Republican chaos. We have to start looking forward. We have to leave the negativity, the baggage and the headlines of the past and start realizing this is a new world we're in and this is evil. And we we have to have the moral clarity to know the difference between good and bad, between right and wrong, between good and evil. This is true evil that we're seeing. And the top of that ticket, Joe Biden is the one that's allowing all of these Democrats to act this way because he did this to us. He's the one that loosened the sanctions because he was falling all over himself to get into the Iran deal. He's the one that made that terrible deal for six billion dollars. He's the one that took off and has been silent the last couple of days when we have nine Americans, maybe 11 Americans that are hostages or died in this situation. And I'm sure there's more. A thousand of our greatest allies, citizens died. And what are we doing? Not enough. We need to be there and let every terrorist know we are going to hold hands with Israel. We're going to be there with them. You know why Saudi Arabia and all the Arab countries have pulled back? Because they don't trust that America and Israel will win. We have to show them that we will win. We have to show them that we're committed. We have to show them we're no longer distracted. It is time for America to pull this together. It is time for America to stop all these silly games, all these silly distractions and get to work for the American people because our national security is at risk and our friends are at risk. And we're watching that happen right now. And it's a tragedy. What should what should happen to Iran real quickly? We have to stop Iran. Every dollar they get goes to terrorism. We had totally eliminated their economy. This money doesn't go to feed their people. It goes to feed their terroristic behavior. Eliminate their economy. Make sure they never get a bomb. Stop all the oil that's going to China. Stop all the equipment and ammunition that's going to Russia and bring them to their knees. And we can't stop until yeah. we do that. They have been celebrating saying death to Israel, death to America. Don't ever forget that. Death to Israel, death to America. They hate us more than they hate Israel. We've got to put an end to this once and for all. Well, Israel's the, the little Satan with the big Satan, right? As Bibi often has used that analogy. Uh, Nikki Haley, thank you tonight. We appreciate you being with us.